Okay, so here's your KitchenAid Deluxe mixer. And the problem was basically um, we overloaded the, the meat grinder attachment part here. So basically uh, these gears, there's gears inside here that act as fuses. So basically the gears will give out instead of the motor burning out. So the gears act as fuses. They can only take so much. It's a good idea to check your uh, owner's manual instructions or online, go online and figure out what is the maximum amount of dough or meat or whatever uh, the capacity of your mixer before you overload it. Otherwise, you'll have problems like this one. So on this one, basically, we're going to take it apart and we're going to put uh, this gear in it this gear here. Now some of these will actually have two gears. This one has, it's a one piece gear. Um, some of them, the top gear will be separated from the bottom gear. This one is a solid one piece gear. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom, uh, whatever they call it, uh, mixer arm attachment part off and you can see there's a, like a pin in between here this pin right here has to come pushed out be pushed out in order to take it off this shaft here okay so we have this the top separated be careful about these things here if you lean it on one side these uh, little control knobs tend to break so be very careful with these. So basically we have to remove this whatever this, this gear here, this tower gear. It looks like a big glob of grease and it's actually a, a gear mechanism <coughs> that... Okay, so yes, yeah, so we have a warm gear on the motor shaft and we have this gear here. Now this gear here I had to replace. It's already been replaced. Um, basically, it's uh, it's just it just slides in and out. Once you have the top off, this this gear here will just slide in and out. Yeah. And I always use TriFlow on these uh, before I grease them up, just to give it a little bit of extra lube. TriFlow's pretty good stuff. So, um, so this commonly is not the problem. Commonly, when you're using the mixer, the most common problem is either this, there's a Teflon gear in here. It's kind of a white gear. You can see it here. This Teflon gear usually goes out, and that usually causes a problem. So that Teflon gear is the fuse in the system, the way I see it. Um, so that Teflon gear usually goes out. Um, very common this gear here goes out and you can see that this gear here is, is definitely basically worn out this is this is the replacement for that gear and so basically we have to take this tower off they're like uh, three Phillips screws that hold that little piece of tower in place we'll take that off and then this top gear here should just slide off okay so let's give it a try Okay, so it's getting kind of greasy at this point. So this gear here pulls up from this area here. Once you pulled it up, then um, you can slide the old gear down and sort of off the shaft. Um, be careful and make sure this little seal here is lubed so that it'll slide. And then once it's on there, basically we can put it back on. So it's always a good idea to make sure that this is lubed inside here. And so that that little seal does not get hung up when you're putting it back in. And so that's basically how that goes. 
and that little pin is centered in there and so there's that gear that we replaced because we put too much tension on this front uh, attachment here and so basically we assemble in reverse order make sure everything's sort of lubed and running uh, well and so if this video helped you please send me a donation it's Bill's Recycling Enterprises PO Box 7021 Eureka California I give phone advice for a fee if you're interested you can send me a donation or and call me 707-443-8347 707-443-8347 between the hours of 9 and 7 Pacific Time thanks for watching